crying out tears. Kate and William allowed to break rules push Harry far away from King Title. The Queen had to grant special permission for Prince William and Kate to go on holiday as a family, it is understood. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39, were seen at Heathrow Airport last week with Prince George, 8, Princess Charlotte, 6, and 3-year-old Prince Louis. It is not known where the family were jetting off to for half-term. But it is understood the Queen would have given her approval for the Cambridges to travel with their three children. Members of the royal family who could one day become king or queen often do not travel together in case anything happens to them. William was previously given special permission from the Queen to travel with George for his and Kate's tour of New Zealand and Australia in 2014. At the time, a spokesperson told BBC News Round, they had to ask the Queen for permission but she said yes. While there is no official rule on this, and royal heirs have travelled together in the past, it is something that the Queen has the final say on. It is thought that George, who is third in line to the throne, will be required to fly separately from his father William, who is second in line, when he turns 12. The Cambridges were spotted at outside Heathrow Airport's Windsor Suite last Thursday. The exclusive lounge is located inside Heathrow's Terminal 5 and is reserved for the royal family and other high-profile celebrities. William drove the family to the airport in an Audi closely escorted by security. The Cambridges, joined by their nanny Maria Theresa Turry and Borrello, were seen unloading their car outside. Kate, who was wearing a face mask, wore a long blue dress which she teamed with white trainers and a straw bag. William, also wearing a face mask, was typically smart in a blue outfit. George matched his father in blue, opting for a pair of shorts and polo shirt. Charlotte was a mini-me of Kate in a sweet dress, which she wore with sandals. And little Louis could be seen in a blue checked shirt. The Cambridge's holiday came after the Queen spent a night in hospital last Wednesday. However, she was said to be back at her desk and carrying out light duties when she returned to Windsor Castle on Thursday. While, Prince Harry went into panic mode when the Queen was taken into hospital for an overnight stay, it is claimed. The Duke of Sussex reportedly felt helpless after learning the news in his LA home thousands of miles away. And it's understood he's been checking in non-stop to ensure his grandmother is feeling better, an unsubstantiated source told US Weekly. He felt helpless being 5,000 miles away in Montecito, and has been checking in non-stop with her, they said. The monarch announced last night that she will not be attending the COP26 summit on doctor's orders. Her Majesty, 95, had planned to speak at the conference. However, she will instead deliver an address to the delegates via a recorded video message. The monarch had 295 engagements during 2019, and has pursued a punishing schedule following the Duke of Edinburgh's death, carrying out 120 official appointments in 194 days. Her decision not to attend in person comes after she backed out of a planned trip to Northern Ireland, her first cancelled royal duty in 15 years. She was recently hospitalized for preliminary tests, but later discharged from hospital in good spirits. Her hospital stay was kept a secret and only confirmed by the palace when it was revealed. And while it's understood her medical team acted out of caution and the stay was for practical reasons, the source claims Harry is concerned. They allege he feels guilty about not saying goodbye in person to Prince Philip, who died in April. He would never forgive himself if the same thing happened with his beloved grandmother, the source said. The Duke is even planning a return to the UK this year to see his family, according to reports. It's claimed he is hoping to go back home for Christmas with Meghan, if not before, so that, the Queen, can finally get to meet Lilibet and see Archie again. Royal experts last night said Her Majesty isn't someone who will naturally take to slowing down. Richard Fitzwilliams told, she knows people want to see her, she knows certain events are particularly important, and if she can possibly make it in person, she will.